Welcome back, Hogaholics. Long overdue. <clears throat> I've been sitting on this for quite some time. Unfortunately, I just hadn't had time to, uh, to drop this video. Did a double dicks haul and uh, went twice. I figured I'd show you what I got on my last trip to uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, it was a rainy day and I was bored, so I took a drive up and decided to uh, see about adding some more stuff to our giveaway for July and re-upping on some things that I typically need. So without further ado, let's see what we got in our bags. So first off, we'll start with a small bag. Uh, put this here. It's been so long, I don't even remember what I got. That's here. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So I picked me up some Guggen Squad, uh, the Zinger. Um, they're spinner baits in Sunshine Craw or Sunrise Craw and bluegill. I wanted a bluegill uh, pattern, um, uh, you know, uh, bladed uh, spinnerbait. Uh, again, my typical Colorado willow leaf. Uh, this one's got the chrome willow and then the gold Colorado. This one's gold Colorado and gold willow. Um, these are both in, uh, wait, are these here? Both in three eighths? Yeah, both in three eighths ounce. So, not bad. I'm not a big fan of the Guggen Squads, but I'm not a detractor either. Um, it is what it is, and I was just looking for the color pattern. So I figured I'd grab those. I picked up some Tsunami's Bucktail Teasers. These are little add-ons. I got them in white and in chartreuse. Um, there's three to a pack. Yeah, three in a pack. These are these little, they have a brass tube, and then they're bucktail hand tied. So you can add these. Um, I like to throw these on the front of Carolina rigs with uh, a peg it on the front, then my <clears throat> this, another bobber stop, and then you know with a little bit of play, and then my weight. And this way, when it's dragging, this is spinning along the line, and it just adds a little bit of flash in front of the hook and your trailer as your uh, as your Texas rig dragging across the bottom. Um, there's a lot of actual unique uses for, for these little guys. They weren't that expensive, um, so I figured I'd grab a few. I also got, because we're looking at uh, that great craw pattern, we got Chili Craw in the Strike Kings um, spinner bait. Again, Willow Leaf Colorado. Colorado's uh, the brass gold color, and this willow is a painted willow with that nice tiger red color. I think this will be great in a few days. Um, running, we're getting like 80 degree uh, days and everything. And these I like because they already come with your trailer. So if you're not going to put a soft plastic on it, you've got your trailer hook already pre-rigged on here, ready to go and catch you some big bass. I did pick up another 10 pack of my 132nd ounce Nico weights. Uh, again, I'll leave a little card here with the, um, with the video on how I use these. Uh, for, for rigging my soft plastics and getting a little bit more uh, different action out of each one. Um, and while I was at it, I also picked up some Z-Man products, uh, particularly um, Z-Man products that I like to use as trailers for not only uh, spinner baits, but my bladed baits, my, uh, my jackhammers, especially the Firecrawl jackhammer. I love this guy right here. I'll open it up. This is their Green Pumpkin Orange. Um, they also have another one that's just as good, but this, this guy on the fire craw, it just, it explodes with color. Um, the orange blends into that red hue and, uh, it adds just enough flare and it is a UV flaring color. It does, it does glow in that UV spectrum. I also got, um, I got two of them because this one came out very much more orange and this one was a unique pour, I guess. Maybe it was a um, failed pour. 
but if you can see, it's got way more green pumpkin on the top. So it's a much darker, darker tone compared to the, the other one there. So way darker, way more orange. So I saw this package in, in amongst all the rest that look like this, and I just had to grab it because obviously it's an error. This is more like a laminated pour. This is more of a, a pure pour. So I got those. <clears throat> Adding to that, I went and I had uh, one of those little coupons where whatever you buy, you can get extra points towards your next 10% 10, 10 off thing. Uh, in this case, this was one where uh, you spend a certain amount, you get five, or doubles your points, something like that, two or five times your point. I don't remember. Anyway, um, so I got a couple of baits, and many of these are during their Dick's sale where it's buy one, get one free. It's actually, it's buy one, uh, buy five and get five. But as long as you keep each one priced identical, so if it's $3.95, the second item at $3.95 is going to be knocked off as free. So, uh, but you got to buy ten baits, five, five and five each, so... I got a few of them. So uh, we'll start before that. Let's start with, I got a Guggen Squad's clip bait. The clip bait in, the, uh, in their fire crawl color. Um, it's a four-odd hook on this. And I'm throwing a clip bait into the giveaway. So you can have as many fire crawl color bladed jigs as possible. Um, I think the remainder of this is all going to be the five for five. Yep. So the remainder of this, besides that clip bait, and maybe one other item in here, I'm not sure. And it's uh, all going to be the five for five. So I got some jackal. I love jackal baits. Um, I got some yammies. These are their three-inch yammy fish. Uh, natural bait fish color, which is a great bluegill, a great shiner color as well, or minnow color. Uh, and then, of course, your, your green pumpkin. You can't go wrong with green pumpkin. These guys, great on a little shaky head, great on a Ned rig. They have a uh, teaser tail, which is, you know, uh, tapered down, and then of course they have their blunt end that you can put on for your uh, for your net head or your Nico rig. These also actually work really well on a drop shot too, believe it or not. So nose hooked on a drop shot, they're a great teaser. So I got two of these because again it's buy one get one, four ninety seven on this one, this one free. It worked out for me. I got quite a few of these. Put them all. Easier. I got two Thunder Crickets from Strike King. So I've got uh, both of these in Black Widow. So it was buy one, get one, $10.49. So I figured if I'm getting one, I'll give you one. So I'm going to throw in this Black Widow Strike King Thunder Cricket um, into the giveaway. So somebody will have a Thunder Cricket if they're afraid of losing the jackhammer that's in there or the regular or the cross eyes or the elite or <laughs> the other bladed jigs. Um, this is a 3 8 ounce, so it's a good, you know, lightweight. I got my KVD Perfect, Perfect Plastics, and these are the Nico Red Bug Ochos. These are little itty bitty Ochos. I got Red Bug and I got Moon Juice. Great colors. Love Red Bug. Um, you know, obviously Chris and, uh, and, uh, there you go. Um, them over at, uh, they love the red bug color. It's that nice bright red candy color. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't help myself. I grabbed a few of these. Uh, so be fishing outdoors. So Chris and Brett over there, they love the, the red bug color. At least I think Brett does. Um, but I, I, I saw it, I had to grab it. So I got a pair of those for me. I got some Daiwa baits, some Nico Machos. So these are an awesome little uh, worm, $7.49 a piece. They've got these bulbous tails on the end that float up, and they're a thick, like, grub body. So they're a really substantial, meaty bait, uh, especially in, in this time of year when the bass are feeding up. These are in brown-purple color. So uh, one for me, one for you. Everybody's happy. Um, Gary Yamamoto baits, um, you know, Daiwa series, uh, when they work with Gary Yamamoto to build those, I thought, I love those. Uh, also, I tried to get the same color I got before that I sent over to um, uh, Fish in the Mitten, uh, but I, I couldn't find them. They didn't have the red. What they did have is the white and uh, 
curly tail grub and the white fuchsia, fuchsia FT. Uh, it's, it's a purplish pink rather than the brilliant red, but this is a slightly larger curly tail. Um, but I'm going to try these on that jackhammer and see if I can get the same effect that that red curly tail has always given me since I ran out. Uh, but yeah, that has always been a killer to me. A little bit of white on the inside body and then a curly tail that matches the, the physique. Because technically, it's the tail out, out the end that's fluttering, that's grabbing the attention. The interior should be covered by the skirt anyway. But having a, a lighter tone comparative, so if you have a black jig, run a white or a bright green or a chartreuse interior color, and it makes that black get more dimension in the eyes of the fish. This is my opinion. Um, if you have a white uh, jig, then run a black blue or a, a you know a deep red or a purple interior grub or, or curly tail or whatever your trailer is going to be. And then it gives that white dimension. It, it gives you just that, that two stages, that two uh, planes of visual effect. So... Uh, they had them in the fuchsia, and they have them in the all-white. I've always had great success with white baits in here in New Jersey. I don't know why everybody sh shuns them. Um, but uh, smallmouth and big time for catching uh, trout. Uh, either feeder trout stocked or natural, you know, indigenous trout. I've had white grubs have killed them. Killed them. And smallmouth bass have, have been, uh, been great on, on white grubs. So I have a few more things that I'm adding into that collection. Uh, as always... Like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification uh, so you can keep in contact when I do drop these little videos. I know this was real quick, even with me rambling a little bit, but uh, I just thought I'd grab a few minutes, put this out to you. Uh, like I said, it's been a while. I've had these for like a week. They've just been sitting here in the, uh, in the, in the room, but uh, I wanted to make sure that I got a little chance to, uh, to show you what I got. So as always, from me to you, uh, tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, Oklahoma.